Hello students, I'm Mrs. Porter and I want to show you some things about your Wonders Benchmark Test that you're about to take. Now, it's very important that you do your very best job on this test because this is going to let us know what you've learned and what you haven't learned. And that's very important information for us as we think about what we need to teach you next. So please do your very best on this test. You might not know everything, um, but do the best that you can with every single question. Okay, I wanna show you some things about your test that you might not completely understand. So let me shrink myself down here. And I'll move it over here. Okay, so here's kind of what your test might look like when you first get started and you're gonna, to get started, you're gonna click this button that says start assignment. This first page might just be instructions, so just read what it tells you here and then click next question. Okay, now here's where things get a little confusing. Um, over here on this side is something that you're supposed to read. It says read the passage and answer the following question. But this is actually very long. You can't see it all at first. So you have to put your mouse over this and scroll over here in this side to get all the way to the bottom of that passage that you're supposed to read. So really important that you read everything here. Maybe read it more than once if you need to before you start answering your questions. The questions are over here on this side and this question has part A and part B. You can't see part B right now, but again, we have to scroll down. This time you'll have to have your mouse over here when you scroll down in order to get to the second part of that question, okay? A couple other things I wanna show you, you have some tools over here. You won't need some of these, um, but this one is kind of interesting. This is a line reader. If you turn that on, you can bring this over here and you can make it so that you're focused on just one line at a time. And that might help you stay really att paying attention to what you're reading. And then when you're done with it, you just close it. Uh, some of you may also have this button. This is text to speech. It will help you, it'll help read some things to you. Now, not everyone will have that button, um, only some students. So if you have this button, I wanna show you how to use it. If you click on that, it's gonna start reading the questions. Question. This question has two parts. You can stop it with the pause, and when you're done with it, you can close it. Okay, so it's reading the question side. But what if you want to, it to read the passage to you over here? How do you do that? Well, you just have to come over to the reading and highlight it first, and then click on the button. Crow perched on a tree branch in the town park. Okay, so that's how you would make it read the um, passage to you over on this side. Okay, when you are ready for the next question, you will of course click next question. Now up here, you can see how many questions you have and you can see if you've answered them or not. Actually, let me go back and just put an answer down. Of course, you won't just be guessing. You're gonna do your best. So now when I come up here, you can see that that question has been answered and you can see how many questions that are listed here, okay? So you're gonna keep going through all of the questions. Now, what if you need to stop the test before you're done? You're just out of time for that day and you're gonna finish it another day. How do you save what you've done so that you can come back and finish later, okay? It's very important that you do not use this button down here you need to use a button that is not showing on my screen. So let me come over here for a moment. Okay, on your screen, up here in the top right, you'll have a button that says save and exit. This is the one you use if you just need to save your test and get out of it so that you can come back another day. You're only gonna use this button when you are completely done answering all of your questions and you're ready to turn your test in. Okay, so you got to know the difference between those two buttons. Top button, if you're going to save it and come back later. Bottom button, if you're completely done forever. Okay, so make sure you're choosing the right button. 
So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to skip to question 30. Of course, you're not going to skip questions. You're going to answer them all. I'm going to come down here to the end and let's see, I have answered all 30 questions and I'm ready to turn it in. I'm going to click done and review, but there's one more step. On this page, it's going to let you know if you missed any questions, if you forgot to answer any of them. You don't want to have any questions in this list. You need to make sure you've answered every question on the test. You can see that I have not. Okay, so if you have anything listed here, you would need to go back and answer. You can click right on these to go back and answer that question. Okay, so don't click submit assignment if you have any questions showing here. But when you have all this gone and you've answered every question, then you've got one more step to submit your assignment before it's actually turned in and recording your scores. Okay, so you got to go through all of those steps. If you have any questions, make sure that you ask your teacher. It would be better to ask your teacher than to just guess and maybe um, have to do something on the test again. Okay? Do your very best, students. I can't wait to see how much you have learned.